question for you. And you in a relationship. Mm-hmm. Okay, so here's a question. Uh, if your man woke you up at 2 a.m., he was hungry. He said, baby, can you cook me a meal? The question is, two questions. What meal would you cook? And then, well, well first question is, would you even cook him a meal? Or be like, well, I think I'm going back to sleep. Or, and if you would cook him a meal, what meal would you cook? Go ahead. So first, would you cook your man a meal if he woke you up at 2 a.m.? Um, I think it should be, would I cook him a meal? Yeah, would you cook um, him a meal? A meal? No. Just be on, being honest. Okay. Just being honest. Hey. hey. They, well, how long y'all been together? For a year. Hey, man. Hey, listen, man. Uh, you, you need to do something right. Hit it right. Uh, get a better job. Make some more money. Something. Uh, but anyways, let's, let's move on. You said no. Just Gigi. being honest. Okay. If your man, if you was in a relationship and your man woke you up at 2 a.m., would yeah. you cook him a meal? Yes. Yes, okay, yes. yes. I knew you were. What 100%. meal would that be? Yeah, huh? What meal would Whatever that be? Whatever the fuck he wants. Like, I'm, I don't know. I just like, I like you cook spontaneous anything. shit. Like, I like, like, ooh, like, little sleepover. Like, we wake up 3 a.m. She'll like, cook me a meal at 3 a.m. You know, like, if he wants a fucking sandwich, I'll make a sandwich. If he wants, like, chicken parmesan, let's make fucking chicken parm. Like, let's okay, go. Like, okay, so you're going to cook like this it. nigga a meal. Yeah. <laughs> little young buck. That's what it is. It's you like, got yeah. energy. Yeah. She 34, man. She's like, nigga, if I wake up at 2 a.m., <laughs> no, nah, it's going to be hard for me to go back to it's sleep, It's different, dog. too, because I work a full-time job. I'm a full-time mother. You yeah. ain't waking me up at no okay. time mm-hmm. in the night so to make little, shit. It's a little different for you. That makes sense. <laughs> I was being real. Um, What about you, Kiki? It all depends on how I'm feeling, how much sleep I done got. Okay, so it depends. And then I'm going to go to the real basic, you know, shrimp Alfredo, call it a night. Or morning. It's morning. Shrimp Alfredo. What if he what if he want a burger? Grill me a burger. I'll try quicker. Huh? Quicker, yeah, we could do that. Okay. Depending how I feel though. How Depending, I feel about but, you that but, day. So it depends on how you feel. Yeah. Okay, so you said no, you're not cooking no meal. You said, Yeah, I cook this nigga whatever you want. And you said it depends on how I feel. Yeah, you know, if I'm now, like real drained and... We gonna move it right along to Allie. Yeah. Allie. Uh if you're a man, if you're in a relationship, he woke you up at two AM. Uh, are you cooking them a meal? All right, it depends. Oh, you another well, depends. It depends on my mood yeah. or like how he was that day, maybe. Okay. And probably no. Okay. Maybe like maybe a little snack, you know, but like I'm not cooking you a fucking meal. Wow. Okay. So. <laughs> All right. Not cooking a meal. What about you, Natasha? Have if your I? man, no, we we just general because okay. you're not in a relationship now. No. So if your man uh, woke you up at two a.m. Um, and asked you to cook him a meal, would you cook him a meal? I don't know. It depends. It really, it really does depend, though. If so you take care of me, depends. if you and you're actively taking care of me, then yeah, I'm gonna take care of you. Okay. At two o'clock in the morning, you're pushing it, but. It depends on the situation, then yeah. It depends. What? Okay, so we got three depends, one no, and one yes. Like, can I say one more thing? Sure. Like, he just has to come in the kitchen with me, though. Like, you gotta, like, keep me company. Like, I wanna, like, like we okay. could, like, be silly or whatever, you know? Fair enough. Yeah. Okay, fair enough. Yeah. So, here's a statement, right? Uh, no, here's a, another question. If an intruder broke inside the house, <laughs> would you... Or would you not expect your man to go downstairs and handle that break at the door? Starting with Natasha. Absolutely. Allie. Yes. Kiki. All I'm saying is if you don't, it's over after that. Like you're tripping. Gigi. Yeah, you got to worry about <laughs> like, me Like, yeah, but together. Like, we'll go together. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> okay. You're going to go with the dude. Uh, and yourself. Um... Uh, yeah, I would expect that. But you would I have expect a lot of, okay, I have a so, lot of so, security. So this is what I hear when I, I hear this, right? Happening. This is what I hear. Here's a statement, right? What I've heard was that a woman's duty is, you know, if I feel like it. Well, I'll I'll cook you a meal. Like her feminine duty, her wifey duty is based off her feelings, right? But the man's duty of protecting you, it's mandatory, right? So, I mean, so look, so let me finish. Die if so, not. Yeah. Listen. It's a life or death situation. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, my stomach is a life or death no, situation. I'm hungry, baby. Fix it's me not. a meal. I need a sandwich. I need a sandwich, turkey and cheese with a soda on the side. But listen, let me l- hear this out, right? 
So the woman's duty is uh, based off your feelings. Oh, I'll, it depends on how I feel mm -hmm. that day. I'll wake up in the morning at 2 a.m. and cook you a sandwich. But if an intruder breaks inside the house, you expect 100% for your dude to go down there and handle that situation. So, so how honest, is that a fair deal for the man? Because to be honest, one I is don't... a life or death situation, and one is just like you just feel like you want to eat something at that time of night. Like wait, 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 wait. What I hear is that you want your man to adhere to his traditional values of protecting you, but you don't want to adhere to your traditional values, your feminine traditional values, and cooking your man some food. That's what I hear, and it doesn't seem like a fair deal Who's for the man. <laughs> <laughs> Can I talk? Go ahead, Allie. These are so different. Like, yeah. one is like, no, the the one is like you're both about to die, maybe. Right, and if you don't and do it, you're going to die. You might not so, eat. So, so, like, that's not the same. First listen, of all, if listen. he doesn't want to go, dinner? I'll go. What if like, you cook whatever. dinner already? If you want to be a little bitch, that's I'll go for you. Point. That's like, not the point. Ladies, ladies, you're thinking too much in it. You're thinking too much in it, right? Because... We expect, men, we expect you to adhere to your feminine traits at all times. When we hungry, we want food, right? That's what we want. When we just finished working out, come in. You know, when I enter the house, smile at me. Greet me with a nice warm gesture. Rub my shoulders. Cater to your man. That's what we want. That's what we expect, right? But it seems like unrealistic expectations because y'all don't want to do it. But on the opposite end, the man, he is expected to always adhere to his masculine duty and to protect you at all times. How is it a fair deal? Go ahead, I just Kiki. feel as though that those were just two completely different <laughs> yeah. uh, so I don't two think y'all understand. Y'all still not understand. No, because right? if it was vice versa, it could be. You should so, use the same scenario. Like, all right, if it's, it's 3 a.m. and I'm hungry. Expect, yeah. Listen, Kiki, Kiki, let me try. I'm to, not going to be. I mean, I'm not going to Let break me up make y'all all cooks. understand real quick, right? Men and women aren't the same. We are different. We are attracted to different things in one another. You are attracted to, all of you ladies, describe your ideal man. Guess what your ideal man is? Better than you. You want a superior. You want him taller. You want him stronger. You want him to make more money than you. You want him to be more competent. You want your nigga better than you. You get that. what I'm saying? Well, that's what you said. Even though you didn't, I those didn't words didn't come that. out of your mouth, but you said that. You want a nigga better than you on all <laughs> regards. If he's not better than you, you're going to look for another nigga that's better than you. I mean, I want a nigga that's that looks what it better is. than me, though. So look, let me rock, right? Listen to this, to what I'm saying. It's very simple. It's not about the situation, right? It's because... It's not about the situation. It's about what the man is attracted to and it's about what the woman is attracted to. The man is attracted to femininity, submissiveness. The woman is attracted to masculinity, protecting and providing. So if you're not giving what we are naturally attracted to, it's not a fair deal if we have to always give you what you're naturally attracted to. A nigga that's going to protect you. Make sense? So that's why it's not going to be the same situation. How can we make the same situation? Oh, okay. Well, someone knocks uh, on a door and uh, you really, we won't even expect our woman to go get the door. If you're, if you uh, hit your man or wake your man up at 2 a.m. to make, make you some food, you're not really even going to expect that from him. Make sense? Yes, the fuck I am. Yeah. yeah you better talk well, about. Maybe yeah, the no. nigga that you uh, beat up. You're going to expect that from him. If I want food, I Mine want makes food. me food no, all the time in the, the middle of the night. Yeah. Yeah. But I, I won't do it for him. Well, that nigga submissive to y'all. Wait, wait, right. wait. what ahead. if I just got done pulling like a 16-hour shift? I came home at 12 a.m. You That's different. You adding variables to you working yeah, on everything. Saying, is different. Sometimes that's how Every it is. Every relationship yeah. I'm talking is about a regular night. Regular night, What's a regular and he night? wanted. Yeah, what is that could be a regular fucking night. But, no, no, I'm talking about a regular <laughs> night without the extra stresses, right? Mm. A stressful night, a, a a stressless night. You get what stress I'm saying? Free. Stress free night. But anyways, go ahead, Gigi. I'm just gonna say, like, back to the food thing, like how you're talking about, like, yes. I think you're like living in like the 1500s. So, no, no, no. <laughs> no, I'll, no, no. Like, so I'll say no, this, wait, right? let me finish. Hold on, we pause, but no, let, no, me let me finish. Let me talk, speak about but myself. I didn't even finish oh, my thought. It's okay, Gigi. I'll let you go. Uh, I have Are a girl. Are you shitting me? My girl, oh my just the other day, I swear on everything. I wish she was here. She walked in, I'll be like, she'll tell you the story. It was like 2 30. The reason why I have this question, because she did it. I was out and I was coming back home from the studio super late and I was like, uh, she answered the phone and I'm like, oh, you were sleeping? She's like, yeah, da, da, da. she had to put the baby to sleep, stuff like that. Cool. So um, I'm like, damn, I'm hungry. I'm like, is uh, McDonald's open? I don't think they open. She's like, nah, they closed. I didn't even ask. 
I'm like, damn, I'm in the mood for a burger. Didn't even ask. I came home. She grilled a burger on the grill okay. outside at 2.30. I came home, and I had two burgers waiting for me. So it is. So what I'm saying is, is that... I mean, she just happened to... I'm that nigga, you know what I mean? She just God. happened to submit to me. It's a fucking but, burger. And she was like, already uh, awake. That doesn't even count. But, wait, what? She was already awake, wasn't like, she? No, no, she was asleep. She, oh. she was asleep. She was, you know what yeah. I mean? She was asleep with the baby. But you get it. So it does happen. Women do do it. If you deserve but for yeah. exceptional yeah. men. Yeah, it depends yeah, on exactly. For so for if men. you give... I mean, if he gives to me and he but, but does then I'm going to do for him. So, so that's I know, a different story, But that's though. the thing. I asked y'all, we all went over your ideal man. So, like, would you do that for your ideal man? Gigi, you said oh, yes. Yeah, you but let me, but let me finish my man. thought, though. Huh? We only named, like, three physical traits of a man. Yeah, that was yeah. it. Like, and we're acting like we physical. named, like, our and that whole, was physical. like, fucking list. Yeah, but what those, are the, those are the baseline. Those are the main things. No, if he that's doesn't, just physical. No, it was, like, black it wasn't physical. over six foot and, like, making <laughs> six figures. Like, like, like well, that's that's what y'all look. Y'all look for protection, providing, and security. No, so I'm not even looking. So the three things that, I, that you ladies Why all answered. Why can't I protect myself, though? No, no. The, <laughs> you your idea, man. I asked you those questions because those <laughs> questions cover protecting, providing, and security. Height, money, uh, and you know, race. That's pretty much you throw that in there to like what you would be attracted to. Go ahead. Can Judy. I finish my thought? Sure. Go ahead. Finish your thought. Okay. What I was trying to say was like obviously I said yeah I'll do it. So whatever you're saying, whatever. Doesn't apply. Yeah. Doesn't no. Apply. This is, but know, you and then you but you were talking about how everyone like I actually said I don't care if I make more money than him. That's the other thing too. But back to the cooking thing. Sure. Like he actually the last guy I was with he was like no I don't want you to cook like I cook because I cook better. I'm like no the fuck you don't. So it was like a competition thing. <laughs> So I don't know, like, what, like, you got going on, like, some, oh, like... Oh, talking about was competition. With all so the submissive shit, and... but he wanted, like, we were always in competition with each other. So, yeah. like, if I say, let's cook at 2 a.m., then it, now it's, like, a competition. Like, no, I'm going to do it. And I'm like, no, let me do it. And he's like, no, I want to do it. Oh, uh, yeah, I mean... And then we both did. eat. And also, I want him to get fatter, so I want him to eat more. <laughs> to eat. Okay, well, yeah, you yeah. had that little thing going on. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. That's good. My so, shit was kind of reverse, though. Like, if I wanted food, he would make me fucking food. So you know, yeah, that's why that's that relationship that's didn't work. It's the same with me. Yeah, I don't like yeah. running a man. Like I can't run you. Mine's like I, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why though. The, <laughs> yeah. Anytime you have a <laughs> dude that's jumping to go do things for you, you lose attraction for them dudes. Listen, <laughs> my boyfriend cooks for me whenever I want. At yeah. any, it doesn't matter what, what time it is. Okay. And it don't be like little meals. It be like rice, steak, jerk chicken, whatever mm. I want. Yeah. He makes anything. So, so I said it's for a point. Right? While I'm at work, he's cooking dinner. Period. Yeah. I said so that for. Different. I said that for a reason, right? When I said that, a man that's out there doing it, and y'all are prime examples, right? The three, the four single ladies. You said that y'all had men that was, would, jump. You know, drop everything for you and go do what you tell him to do or do what you ask him to do, right? Not yet. Oh, yes, 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 yes. And where are those men now? No, it depends. Where are those men? It depends. For, for you. Where's not everything. Not, not with me. Not with y'all. <laughs> I mean, so, nobody jumps is, for me. It depends. Oh, yeah, like, you good. You, <laughs> what? Y'all vibing. <laughs> All right, so hold on. Wait, would you jump for your ex? Because you're Wait, talking what? about where are those people now? Would you jump for your ex? Because I'm sure when you were in a relationship with your ex, you doing all this together, you jump for her. But would you jump for her now? I never jump for no woman. All right then. But so, I'm talking about all right. Cause I don't man, know what, you're what talking my point about. is is that a man like, shouldn't what? be jumping for no woman. That's the point. It's a men turn don't, off. Men, yeah, but men don't jump for no woman. What we do jump for, right? To protect and provide for you and give you security. We're already doing that. So it ain't no jump. Mm. We our job, we all <laughs> we we all sit here and witness that a man has to he's expected by all of you ladies to adhere at all times to his masculine duty. Y'all all said y'all want him and expect him. If an intruder bangs on a door, you expect your man to walk downstairs and handle that. But on the op 